Welcome to another daily cinephile vlog. Keeping it up now on, I believe this is the 55th vlog I've done for the channel. Every day since the beginning of 2021. So, um, I make daily videos. Not a lot of effort is put into these, obviously. Uh, I think I'm putting more effort into just deciding a topic and keeping up with you know, my grammar, speaking on camera, um, trying to keep it interesting, flowing. I don't like to have too many spaces in my words, uh, which can be pretty tough, depending on the topic. I've looked back and, you know, some of my videos I've done on WandaVision, for instance, I can go on for nearly 20 minutes, nonstop. <laughs> One time the camera died. So, I mean, I can, uh, when it comes to that, I, I can keep things going but sometimes you know like right now I don't always have the words but it's been a challenge it's been a challenge I've been very happy to, to take and uh but in the meantime I've been doing videos for the main channel I've had other projects going on other writings that necessarily they might not be seen for a while but I also do a podcast the Cinema Swamp podcast. It's not the only podcast I do, and it's probably not going to be the last one I ever do either. I have a lot of different ideas for podcasts, actually, and um, luckily it's a format that's a little easier than doing, uh, you know, something on video. I don't want to say that making a podcast is easy. It's not. Uh, making a podcast good it can be very tricky, very difficult, and especially when you got a big group like uh, what we have. We have four people on the show. And so trying to schedule a time, do it, you know, over the internet versus in person like we used to, um, just due to COVID at the moment, uh, makes it even more difficult. And, you know, just trying to keep the conversation flowing, engaging, and picking a good topic. Uh, especially when there's just tons of podcasts out there now. So, you know, sometimes it can become a little overwhelming in a sense. Um, we really do it for fun, but it's it's too bad that there's just so much out there that, you know, it sometimes challenges me. Like, how can we make ours more unique? How can we make ours stand out? What can we do to really pick up the pace? What are, what are we not doing that other great shows are doing? So um, a lot of different things uh, always juggle through my mind and always looking for ways to improve pretty much the show, but also just everything that I do. And um, we certainly do our best to make an interesting show, but also one that we like. You know, we just like chatting with each other. We'd probably do it regardless of being recorded. Um, but maybe you're wondering, well, how do you do the vlogs? How do you do the daily videos? You got a personal life. You got a full-time job. Somehow you also edit a podcast. Um not as frequently anymore. Um, we used to do it more frequently when we could actually meet up, but still probably at least twice a month. Um, sometimes maybe possibly more. How do you keep up with all of it? Well, I'll show you one trick. One trick I have as far as, you know, editing and trying to get the show done in time for, you know, on the schedule. Sometimes we'll record and I maybe don't get to editing it until the week after, but I really try to get it within that two week mark because in my head, I'd like to release an episode every two weeks. It's never become a standard schedule. A lot of things have gone in the way because of that, especially COVID, but before that, you know, um, it's a, it's a tight crew. There's not a lot, there's, there's a few people working on it and there's only so much that we can all give personally towards it. Um, but like I said, we do it for fun, but when the actual work part of it comes, it does take time, and I certainly don't want to rush it. I don't want to just put it out there unedited. Uh, we used to, actually. Uh, there wasn't a lot of edits on previous episodes, but I started to really chop it up to get rid of a lot of the spaces and, you know, a lot of the words that come between the phrases, like a lot of ums and buts and pauses and things like that, just to kind of pick up the speed. I think a lot of people listen to podcasts on a faster tempo nowadays anyway. Um, they kind of have a, they have a way to speed it up on iPhone. So I think a lot of people choose to do it that way. I know I have to, to listen to some podcasts because it's just, there's so much content out there. There is so much out there. 
it's impossible to keep up with everything. Um, I've refrained from doing that with YouTube videos and, you know, especially with movies. I, I don't think I'd ever do that with movies. When Netflix announced that they were going to add that option, I thought that, that was insane. And I was like, we cannot get to this point. Eh, but the thing is, like, I don't blame them. There's so many movies. Obviously, Netflix is doing it for viewer reasons, but they want the views. But it's just insane to me that there's just so many movies at a point, um, you know, in a couple years, if people are trying to even not just watch current stuff but go back to some old stuff every year there's more and more movies and eventually it's like there's gonna be too much to catch up on i still have so many movies i want to watch and i've said before I'm like it makes me sad to know that, I, that it's impossible to see every movie i would love to just be able to see every movie that i want to see and more and it's just impossible there's too much so where, where was i going with that oh yeah um the podcast and doesn't matter to edit. Well, I think it does to edit out the spaces, even though people are speeding up the tempo regardless. It's not, it's something about like, I like it being more fluid. I don't cut every pause out, but you know, it's, I do want to keep up a certain speed, a uh, flowing conversation, and I don't want there to be anything that takes you out of it. But how do I possibly edit a show with all these other projects going on? Um, this is how. I listened to the show in Alvin and the Chipmunks voices. <laughs> um, it, it's not... I think this is a better way to edit it just because when I record, I already know ahead of time what stuff needs to be cut out, where it happens... And if there's any spaces in between or anything I have to mess with as far as the audio levels go, um, I can read the waves pretty good. I know where to pick up the the volume and I know where things need to be chopped out. And what's great is that on the timeline, you can easily kind of tell where there's spaces, where there's uh, moments that need to be picked up on the sound because it was a little too quiet. Um, it's been pretty rough during COVID just because there's not great mics for everyone to work with. We're kind of working with whatever we can get our hands on to record. I mean, I got a mic on me, but you know, I just got so many different video production tools. Um, I'm the one that holds all the mics. So, you know, other people have been using like laptops or their phones. So it's like, it, the sound is an awful but you definitely have to mess with the volume a lot more than I ever had to before because everything was in front of me before. I didn't really ever have to mess with the audio after the fact. Now I do. So that's one thing I'm looking forward to once the pandemic's over is when we can record in person. I could just do all the audio right there, the volume anyway. So the only thing I'd have to edit is chopping out, you know, the spaces and certain things that just need to be cut out that weren't really part of the conversation that the podcast was centered on. Um, but yeah, that's how I get through it. Um, it's worked for me. It's helped to pick up the pace of finishing the episode within that two-week margin. And um, it gives me more time to work on other things. It still takes a while. It doesn't, you know, it it, it really turns like a three-hour project into a two-hour project. Um, that's just an estimate. I'm not saying that it takes, you know... Every episode takes that long, but you know, it can that's probably the average, if not a bit longer, depending on what I have to add after the fact and any changes I make before posting. So uh but like I said, it it really maybe cuts like an hour of time out, but an hour of time being cut out saves me an hour to do other things. Other th other things that very much need to be done, especially for my mind, that just it never stops. <laughs> it never stops creating other ideas and you know creations and stuff i want to get done so um i'm going to continue editing but thanks for watching this vlog leave a comment and a like let me know how you get through some of your creative processes and if you're going to subscribe which would be great make sure to use that bell icon because youtube is hiding the videos as always or it seems like it anyway. Thanks for watching.